Okay. Uh, well, let's say in like an hour and three minutes is all I've been into it so far. But it's doing something different. <clears throat> it went six times this way, this way, this way, this way. And then now it started doing a cross hatch and doing a center. So it's getting ready to start bending or something. <clears throat> yeah. And then do the sides. The sides are full of. It's, these covers has got to have a little dip in them somewhere. But uh, Amazon was damn right on time. So what we got was 2 kgs of one black and one white printer. And that's uh, 1.75 millimeter for that over there. Which that's got a four millimeter nozzle on it. The 3D value pack. Hell, this damn thing. I ordered it yesterday. Oh shit. I think around three, four o'clock, uh, something like that. Along with this right here, I wasn't expecting this to come in. So I figure China, you know, hell, fuck, be forever. <clears throat> but it's an upgrade from this right here. And it's, hell, that wasn't even 24 hours, really. I had to go back and look at the time. And by God, they were here. It said anywhere from between 12.15 and 2.15. And by God, she was here. <laughs> and it ain't, it's just now. I've been fucking around. The laptop's off a little bit. But it's 12.15 on a laptop which is actually uh, 115, one, six, something like that now. But, that, that's 24 hours, you know, hell, I, got, I can keep going, I can actually, if that comes out cool, and I like it, the way they fit, then, well, I'm in for, it takes three hours, so it's three, six, nine, twelve, uh, 15, 18 hours of just printing just to get these duff, dust covers right here. Uh, so, uh, I think my woman will be here then. So she says, but, uh, come here. Damn it. Uh, I'm upgrading from this little bad boy, which is a Harbor Freight. I've been using it. I've had it for about oh, about five years, I think. Something like that. It got to where the battery and everything don't work really well. Uh, you put the battery in there and it won't come on unless you press on the battery holder. Of course, it's going to lie. And there we go. And there we go. It's got competition. It knows it's fucked up and it's just like, oh, I'm being put away, I'm retired. <laughs> the, but it's plastic, it's cheap Harbor Freight one. Well, and I got a cheap Chinese come in, but damn, this sucker's nice. Hold on. Uh, what is it got? A, a sticker number and all that shit on there. X002. Uh, it's probably some packaging from Amazon. But this cover, this whole thing right here is nice. Let's blow mold it, I guess. And there's a guy that has uh, some injection mold equipment that really, you know, I like. Well, because I've had some slight experience. Electronic digital caliper operating instructions. Instructions. Oh, check it out. I got. There's two batteries, some dry uh, air moisture and shit, and a screwdriver. Oh, good God. This thing's heavy. I like it. 
Alright, now let's check out some functions on this thing. And what I was dealing with, I could scroll forward, scroll backwards, doesn't matter. It, I was off by a couple uh, thousands easily. Alright, it's on. It ain't backlit, that's for damn sure. And, well, it's showing zero now. Alright. That's pretty smooth opening. Now, when I, on the other one, when I went back, I would never zero out. This is really nice. I got this off, uh, well, Amazon, apparently, but the information that I got on this one right here was through James Dean, which James Dean does a lot of these jamatsus and stuff. That's pretty cool, and it's really nice. It's heavy. It does, I'll have to read the instruction. This thing does everything in the world. But, I've been trying to hit dead damn zero on everything that I'm doing, and I can't. And for some reason, unless I get rid of the constraints when I do the design, I can't make nothing fit even close on a first go round. I mean, here we are. <laughs> that was a first in the very center. And then I just had to graduate up to move around. And these are something else. They're not tied in with this and this. These two are together and that's a ball screw. Angel or uh, fairy and that. And we're doing this now. I did something else. I can't remember what I did. I did something else. I didn't do the damn boat. Fuck the boat. I don't want to just get into it. But everybody else's designs, like if I get them off of Thingiverse or anywhere else, they fit perfect. I mean, it's perfect. The NEMA 23 mounts that I made, they were perfect. They even had the inside circle diameter. Perfect. Oh, it's like snap together and I'm gonna go there myself. I got enough equipment now that all I have to do is just feed them. Plug them in and feed them. That's what I want to do. Plug them in and feed them. That I'm gonna play with. Now, this right here I'm definitely gonna play with. It's going to make my uh, Jamatsu, your home, whatever you want to call your burns, which this is it, right here. <laughs> this has no use, it's brand new. Uh, but over time, you'll be changing these little bad boys out. And you can keep the shit off of here, because that's what they run on. <laughs> so, you gotta put dust covers here, and you gotta cover it here. And somehow or another, cover this whole damn thing just keep shit from going everywhere well, that's possible I already did it when about five times this size t six times maybe five times I think yeah and that that's working great um, I, I got that one that was I, let me think the name of the damn thing now I can't think of the name of it. The very first one I got was just like a piece of shit. And they sell like crazy on uh, the internet and all around Facebook. Uh, the Creality's, uh, they don't sell as much. But Creality is a much more better machine. What, what the hell was the name of that damn thing? I don't know, it, it just irritates the shit out of me because I spent money and I drove way the fuck out nowhere <laughs> and went and picked it up and it was a piece of shit. And this one I spent a bunch of money on and I drove way the fuck out nowhere and came back with something plus another machine. God, I love Florida. Florida is fantastic. I mean, I... Let's just put it this way. 
there's a turnover. <clears throat> there's a very big turnover here in Florida. I'll have to explain that in a longer video, but in reality, there is, there's a very large turnover. That's on everything, boats, cars, trucks, tractors, machines, lawnmowers, everything that you can think of. There's a very big turnover. And with that, <laughs> my little baby's doing it. And within two hours, I had this son of running. Look, when your roll gets as small like this, you need to kind of help it because it's a little bit tighter on the inside diameter. So, you know, just give it some help. I spin mine out a little bit and then let them fluff up some. Yeah, as long as you don't ever break it and the damn thing cross under <laughs> and then try to do it, you're screwed. So you need to unwind it and fix it. But after a few days of it sitting out like this right here, <clears throat> the play becomes brittle. So you kind of like need to keep it in a box and something plastic or something like that. I guess it's UV or whatever. Well, no, in about a hundred years. What the hell? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, it ain't stone. So, making a pyramid out of that shit right there, you just like fucked. <clears throat> it does. Uh, it'll wilt. Uh, this right here. I made this little contraption. And, uh, well, look at it. It wilted. So I come up with another idea of what I would do is put two full solid rods in there and then it can't bend. And then I just gotta go into production mode on that and come up with the rods. But that's where this little bad boy right here comes in hand. Because everything I do over here hasn't been working out perfectly over there. But if somebody else does it, shit, it works just fine. It's perfect. Oh, look, it's making it. It's actually bending it. Oh, you can't tell, but uh, when you see the lip come up on it, I can see the lip from here. But it's actually making it. Okay, awesome. Look, let's just spin this out some more. And if it breaks, and you can see it anywhere in the line right here, we'll just cut it real quick and shove it through there. Uh, depress that, and then push it all the way up till it starts squirting out again. Well, not during your print. That's where they need a filament thing that says, I'm out, or I'm close. <laughs> but I've sat here and I've done this. I know right now I'm at hour and 16 minutes mm. I'm a good hour and a half into this right here plus fucking with all of this and that there you go guys <clears throat> yeah I got this one on cause I'm screwing around with it I need to turn it off <clears throat> where the button one's on the back one's on the front disconnect it and the port changes every time I connect to this laptop the port changes uh, four five and six and so if you start having problems where you can't operate your software check your ports there you go and I like this I mean it's really nice look at it not that you can see much shit in there. I need glasses, a fucking spotlight, and Q-beam, and all kind of fucking shit to be able to... Can you read it? Hell, I can't. Maybe I... Let me, let me do this right here. Because I might need to do this and zoom in. <laughs> when I need to read it, go back to the video. 
but that's really nice uh, and the battery compartment has got little uh, screws which that'll come in handy and I ain't worried too much about because I got a whole bunch of uh, jeweler's tools there you go guys I'm happy